Good morning, Falcons. It's November 13th. I'm Matt. And I'm Justin. And here's the view from the Falcon's Nest. Students, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and Moment of Silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. The lunch for today is Nacho Tuesday, taco meat, tortilla chips, cheese cup, jalapeno slices, sour cream, salsa, cheeseburger sliders, golden corn, refried beans, diced peaches, and sidekick slushy. Students, if you have missed the call-out meeting last week for Students Against Destructive Decisions, also known as SAD, there is still time to join. There will be a meeting after school on Wednesday this week in the Media Center. Spell Bowl students, please wear your Spell Bowl t-shirts tomorrow for a team photo during activity period in the Media Center. Students auditioning for the Spring Musical need to turn in an audition sheet as soon as possible. Practice recordings will be sent to the students, so get th that sheet to Mr. Fansler. Auditions will be on December 3rd. NHS members, we need to provide helpers for an event at North Liberty Elementary School this Saturday, November 17th. See Mrs. Carey for more information. Graduating students who are interested in Purdue Fort Wayne should check out the full ride scholarships available through the Champ Van Scholarships pro Program. If anyone wants more information, please see one of the guidance counselors. Now here's no. weather with Wyatt. Thank you, Matt. It is November 13, 2018. It is 29 degrees. It is snowy also. It is, wind speed is 12 miles per hour, and real feel is 20 degrees. Now with the three-day forecast. Today being 31, snowy, and a low of 20. Wednesday, 36, partly cloudy, with a low of 24. And Thursday, 36, snowy, and a low of 25. Now here's a video. We'll be talking about Spyro. Spyro the Reignited Trilogy has came out today. If you don't know what Spyro is, it is the classic game for PlayStation 1. This time they are remaking all three games into one disc. They will have original and new soundtracks. The world will have more details than the first one, but all the levels will be the same. If you love old games, you will enjoy this game. Thank you for watching and back to the main desk. Thursday, November 15th, Ivy Tech is sponsoring a College 101 seminar from 6 to 8 p.m. Learn about their accelerated programs, transfer as a junior programs, and dual credit. Register through the Ivy Tech website. Attention seniors, the counselors will begin conducting senior interviews on Tuesday this week, and they will continue through the end of the semester. The counselors will review your graduation requirements and make sure you are on track as well as discuss your future plans. If you have a study hall, you will be pulled out to have a meeting with your counselor. If you do not have a study hall, the counselors will meet you at lunch for a brief discussion. The John Glenn Theater Company will be presenting the fall play this coming weekend. You Can't Take It With You is the name of the show, and it will make you laugh. Come to the auditorium on Friday or Saturday at 7.30 or Sunday at 2 and support your local actors. All tickets are $7 and can be purchased at the door. As we head into the holidays, make plans to enjoy a night of theater. Here's a commercial about the play. What's interesting is, you know, it's a it's a really American play, and it's looking at really American values in terms of, you know, our work Protestant work ethic and 
and valuing money and achievement and status position over your own actual happiness. It's got a great heart to it. The simplicity of the ideas, we should relax and let life come to us. Just those simple ideas about a way to live that is valuable to you. Life should be fun. If you're not having fun, you need to really look at it. That life is short, and uh, if it's not fun, then what are you doing? But it doesn't thrill me half as much as dancing cheek to cheek. Oh, I love to go out fishing in a river or a creek. But I don't enjoy it half as much as dancing cheek to cheek. Dance with me. I want my arm about you. is quickly approaching on December 14th. Turn in your money to either Miss Mortensen or Miss Kramer. Deadline for pre-sale tickets are November 28th. Also, we need volunteers to work the fish fry. Sign-ups are in Miss Mortensen's room. Juniors, Miss Kramer and Miss Mortensen would love to see how the fish fry ticket sales are going. If you have any tickets sold and money collected, please stop by my room at your earliest convenience and trade out the, that money for a ticket. Also, the junior with the highest number of tickets sold by Friday, November 16th, will receive a Rise and Roll donut. Yum! <laughs> Remember, we need to sell 300, which is two tickets per person. Please do your part and help us out. Yum. Our annual blood drive is scheduled for December 11th. If you would like to donate or you just want more information, see Mrs. Carey in room 247. You must be at least 16 years old to donate. Now, now here's, here's Emma with sports. Thank you, boys, and hello, fellow students. John Glenn Bowling team competed on Saturday at Chippewa Bowl. In the first match, the team beat South Bend Riley 17.5 to 2.5. In their second match, the team tied in points 10-10 to -10 against the Mishawaka Cavemen. As a result of a tie, the match was won by Glenn based on total pin count. The team remains undefeated in their conference. Attention for anyone that played a full sport this year and earned a varsity letter, I have a good announcement for you. You're eligible to join an elite club. The first meeting of varsity club will be tomorrow during activity period in Mr. Faust's room. If you have any questions about this club, please see Mr. Faust or Mr. Foster. And back to the main desk. The National Honor Society is hosting its annual food drive from now through Tuesday, November 20th. The Media Center will collect canned food for fines through the NHS food drive. Bring in one food item for each one dollar toward any fine. Here are today's results from the food drive competition. Mrs. Day's class now has 100% participation, and Mr. Ritchie's class is in second place. Keep up the good work, everyone. Time is running out. Submit your original plays, short stories, poetry, and long song, and song lyrics for the 2019 Ariel Literary Magazine. See Miss Parent in room 244 or email them to here at school. Submissions are due before Thanksgiving, which is next week. FFA crops and fostery teams will meet Wednesday during activity period. Rest in peace, Stan Lee. Happy birthday to Craig Linning, Blaine Kemp, Matthew Moore, and Haley Vermillion. Have a great weekend. I'm Matt. And I'm Justin. And that is the view from the Falcon's Nest.